life is mostly about love and I think that Giselle brings that to um, an audience. Um, we definitely feel it, we fall in love. Giselle is definitely heartbroken and you're for, for certain traumatized by it at all. But I think it's all emotions that we all experience within our life, sort of magnified. Yeah, I think of the classical ballets. Giselle is probably the one with the more complex characters. Mm -hmm. So my character is one thing at the beginning and completely changes by the end of it. He's a different person. And, and the same for Giselle. So there, there is a lot of subtlety in the story. And this is all told with a, you know, with a magical... Well, the second act is one of the classics with, with all the white tutus and... Uh, well, actually, they're not tutus, they're long skirts. Yeah, long skirts. The classical the tool, long skirts. Yeah. It's a, it's a romantic ballet. The dresses are much longer and more flowing and you know, actually very, very elegant. But when the dancers all come together, the willies, the 24 willies, it's one of the most powerful scenes in, in ballet. The crossing of the willies, right? Hopping across the stage mm. is one of the, 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 the strongest scenes. You should look out for that in the mm. second act. And of course, it's actually really tiring to dance. You get to the end completely exhausted because my character has to, is made to jump until he's going to die. So we don't quite die, but we come quite fairly close. If she wasn't so innocent and so pure in her love for him, I definitely feel like in today's world you would be suspicious of Albert. But she is so innocent and so fully um, in love with him that she just doesn't recognise the signs. And if I, if I could choose, I would love the audience to come and quite dislike Albert at the beginning of the ballet think him a terrible person, a terrible character. And by the end of the second act, it's almost like you don't really want to like him, but you're, uh, you're now starting to feel a bit sorry for him. Mm -hmm. And this is all given by this pure and unconditional love that Giselle uh, is able to give even after she pass, passes yeah. to the next yeah. world. I mean, it's a extremely hard ballet technically, and it takes so long to refine in the studio lots of pirouettes, lots of sort of pulled out balances and then sustained lifts. And the quality of the arms and the movement. Yeah. And yet, uh, you're right, there is so much to be told with uh, what we call mime, ballet mime. And uh, what I think what the Royal Ballet does really well is then we, we tell it as people rather than as dancers. Yeah. And then, I, of course, I'm still doing a pirouette and a double turn and all that in this ballet. And yet, when we're telling the story, we are not really dancers. We try to be actors and people. And I think that's what the Royal Ballet in general does really well.